All right, first up, yeah, it happened. It's gone. But now let's get into some Model Y news. First up, we finally are getting some detailed interior pictures of the Model Y. Basically, we knew it was gonna look like the Model 3. They said it was the same seats. People test drove in the Model Y at the announcement event, but we really haven't gotten some good close-up photos of what the interior looks like, maybe a little more idea of what the room's gonna be like as opposed to the room inside of the Model 3. And now we finally have them, thanks to Tessmanian. So if we look at this first picture right here, we can see the center console and those front two seats and the steering wheel and all that stuff pretty much looks exactly the same as the Model 3. Let's compare it to the Model 3. From this angle, can't really tell much of a difference other than it looks good, it looks like the same quality, it looks overall great. It's important to keep in mind here that the seats on the Model Y are the same as the Model 3, but they're gonna be on risers, as most of you probably already know, but it looks like the center console, meaning the console, the armrest console, is actually gonna be raised as well. One cool thing that Tessmanian pointed out is that it looks like it's USB-C ports now, and that is new. The Model 3 did not have USB-C ports, and that's great for all new phones. Even an iPhone comes with a USB-C to lightning cable now. Now let's look at this next photo. We can see overhead on what the pedals and the front seat look like. Here is a close-up on how those rear seats fold down. So I told you previously that people on Twitter had mentioned specifically that the back seats kind of power folded at the touch of a button, and then you had to fold them up manually. I don't know too much about how motors work on seats, but apparently this photo is showing you that there's a motor that helps the seat collapse, but not get back up. Another notable thing here is that this absolutely confirms the fact that it's three independently folding seats. So that center seat is all by itself if you need it to be. So you could have four passengers in there, fold the middle seat down and have like a ski or something long running from the trunk all the way through those back seats. And then according to Tessmanian, if you look at this next photo, they say that this is in the back of the passenger compartment and on the left side, the trunk has two buttons. But those aren't the only Model Y interior photos. We also got some photos from at Mr. Lee Tesla on Twitter. He got a really nice photo right here comparing the Model Y and the Model 3. And I've been showing these for a long time, all sorts of comparisons between the Model Y and the Model 3, but every time it's just a really great size comparison. Seeing this from the front at this angle, you can really see it's just like the Model Y is the slightly bigger brother of the Model 3, and it looks great. And then he also got a few interior photos, but he wasn't actually inside the car. You can see a little bit of glare, but overall he got really good photos. So right here is a close-up of the back seats, and you can see, again, those three independently folding back seats. Now let's move on to the next one where he got it a little bit wider. Now this next photo shows the rear trunk area, and that's also where that third row of seats would go. So I'm assuming since that trunk obviously comes with the cover and there's the under storage compartments, that when they add seven seats, there will be a little depth that they can go to. But overall, it looks like there's not a lot of room there. And we've known this, we've known this for a while, but it definitely looks like they gotta be really short to be in that back row. Cause if you compare where the rear headrests are, and then kind of imagine pushing that back to a third row, they're definitely gonna be close to hitting their head on the glass. And then if you also think about how low they can actually sit, I mean, maybe that under storage compartment is big enough that when they convert that to actually fit two seats, that there's a lot of depth there, but it seems like those seats are gonna to have to be higher than the second row, and then on top of that, there's not as much head clearance. So probably gonna to have to be really short and really small to fit in those rear seats. Regarding the seven seater, I don't know. I don't really encourage many people to go for it. If you have small children, maybe, but I don't think it's gonna last for too long, but we won't know for sure until it actually comes out, so don't just cancel your order or something because I said this. Just wait to see it in person because the seven-seater is gonna be delayed anyway. But the five-seater I think is gonna be amazing, and looking at that same photo again from Mr. Lee Tesla, just looks like that trunk space is a lot. When you're not thinking about putting seats there, think about how much trunk space that is with the hatchback, it's gonna be great. Right here, you can see him looking in the back row from the right side of the car, and you can really see that all glass roof, which is really awesome because that beam is pushed back, as I mentioned in many other videos. It just creates this overall incredibly beautiful panoramic glass roof. Then he got a photo of the right front interior as well. So you can look at that. You can see, again, that all glass roof and how amazing it looks. And of course, everything is still in wrapping and such to protect it because this looks like it's gonna be a car that's delivered. So not a ton to learn there, but the main things are that it's gonna have USB-C ports apparently in that back, and I'm guessing it'll probably have them in the front as well. We'll see what happens there. 
And then on top of that, it looks like the motor is actually there to have those somewhat power folding rear seats. So that's pretty great. I'm excited to have that feature. A few more verbal things we heard about the Model Y came from someone named Eric, who sent me this long list over Facebook. He said he talked to a Tesla employee who was actually trained on the Model Y, and he was kind of an open book. A couple notable things that he mentioned were that the ride height is noticeably higher than the Model 3 in the Model Y, and it's three to four inches taller. And then he said the frunk is about one inch deeper. Then regarding the fact that the Model Y is gonna have two of those under storage compartments, he said that the one furthest back is gonna be deep, just like the Model 3, but the one closer to the back seats, which is the second one that the Model 3 doesn't have, is only gonna be about three quarters of an inch deep. And so that's just to hold cables and small stuff, but it's still cool to have. Apparently this technician said that, especially when you're sitting in the back seats, you'll notice that the Model Y is wider than the Model 3, but you'll notice the length is about the same as the Model 3. And I find this interesting because I kind of assumed it was the opposite. I thought it might be longer, but the exact same width. And according to this guy, it's apparently going to be a little bit wider. So that's enough of word of mouth. Let's get onto the photos. So we've gotten some photos of Tesla Model Ys lined up ready for delivery at the Fremont factory. And we've also seen them loaded up on trucks. So here's a couple photo from, I think I'm gonna pronounce this right, No Aribus, who sent me these on Facebook. And you can see just a lineup of Model Ys at the Fremont factory with all those hatchbacks open, which gives you a clear indication that these are not Model 3s. And in the second photo, you can see a bunch of them lined up as well. Clearly that's the hatchback, but also clearly that's not the Model X. These are definitely Model Ys, and it's a bunch of them all lined up. What's interesting to notice is they're mostly dark colors. We see a lot of black, blue, and midnight silver metallic. I'm not seeing many white. You can see one there, but other than that, there's not many. Then we saw some more photos of Model Ys actually loaded up on delivery trucks. So here are a couple, and these come from Kirthi Pobathi, and these were apparently sent to Electrek, and I'm getting these from the Electrek article, which I'll link in the description below. So in this photo, you can actually see a few white ones. So maybe the white ones were produced first. No idea, that is the stock color. So I'm assuming that's gonna be the one that the most people order, but I'm not sure what their philosophy is for which ones go out first, depending on color. If you look close at this photo, you can kind of tell that there's a protective coating over where the trim is. And a lot of people have mistaken this in other photos to say like, wait, I thought it was Chrome Delete. This looks like it's Chrome, but it looks like it's just a protective film over the Chrome Delete itself and then it will be taken off for delivery. And overall, you just notice that these are mostly 20 inch rims. I haven't seen anyone who ordered long range rear wheel drive with a 19 inch wheels get a confirmation email yet. And unfortunately, I'm in that boat, so I'm still waiting on it. We have seen a lot of people who thought they got the confirmation because it said prepare for delivery in their account. But as I mentioned in a previous video, that unfortunately doesn't mean anything. And literally everyone got that in their account, including people who ordered the seven seater. And we know that's not coming till next year or possibly earlier, but definitely later than this first batch of deliveries. It looks like those who are actually going through the delivery process, scheduling for the second half of March, got a text message from Tesla. And that text says, Welcome to Tesla. We're excited to get you into your Model Y as soon as possible. In order to take delivery, please log into tesla.com slash tesla account and complete all tasks in the next few days. Delivery location, registration, trade-in, and payment method. For more information, please visit tesla.com slash delivery day or reply to this text. As far as I've heard, this is pretty much where these people are at. They don't know an actual delivery date yet, but it is Monday, so I'm anticipating sometime this week, these people are gonna hear about it and I'll let you know as soon as possible. So it looks like the first batch of delivery emails are done. It was like the 24th through the 26th, and it was all people who ordered performance with the 19 or the 21 inch wheels, and then some people who ordered the long range all wheel drive, specifically with the 20 inch wheels, and all of those also had the black interior. I haven't seen any with the white interior, and of course they were all five seaters as well. It seems like a lot of dark colors as well, but it seems like that doesn't matter quite as much. So when do you think that next batch of emails is gonna go out? Leave a comment below and let me know. I think it might make sense if it's like this week because that gives them a month out and they can start scheduling April because presumably they haven't scheduled out any of April yet. All of the emails they sent out were asking about people's availability in the second half of March and even earlier sometimes. But I do hope we hear about more emails going out this week because a month is kind of like the minimum, I think, that you need to hear about a car. Three weeks is like not that much time 
to do all the planning that you're suddenly getting a new car in three weeks, and specifically a car that is this expensive. So I'm hoping they'll go out this week. If they don't, I can't see why they wouldn't go out the following week, but we'll see what happens overall. Leave a comment and let me know when do you think those emails are gonna go out. In the meantime, I'm gonna be anxiously awaiting my delivery email, but if you're getting one delivered in March, let me know in the comments below or reach out to me. I'm at Ryan Shaw Tech on Twitter, and I would love to chat with you and maybe come see the car and we can make a video together. That'd be super fun. Alternatively, you can email me and I'll leave that in the description below as well. As always, make sure to like this video and also subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on everything Model Y, Tesla, and tech. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next one.